Hi friends, thank you for 38, 38 likes in my previous video and we have completed 100 subscribers today so thank you so much to all of you so today we are going to discuss another problem of CSES that is uh, two sets so what this problem says we have uh, uh, n coins whose values is from 1 to n and we need to divide these coins into two sets such that the sum of values in the first set would be equal to the sum of values in the second set uh, so uh, like in this example if n is equal to 7 then we would have our coins from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and uh, these are the four uh, ways in which we can divide uh, our coins so that their sum would be equal like in this case the sum of first set is equal to 14 and sum of second set is again equal to 14 so it would be counted in our answer and finally we need to print our answer uh, in the form of answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 because the answer can be very large and our answer value is less than equal to 500 uh, so first of first thing to be noticed is that the pair of set is unordered that is 1 3 4 6 and 2 5 7 1 3 4 6 and 257 uh, is equal to uh, 257 and 1346 that is we need to count uh, only one time uh, this two pair of set so uh, what we are saying we need to discard uh, one of them between these two so uh, uh, what we are saying uh, we can discard this second set and how we are doing that uh, we are saying that discard uh, that pair of set in which the coin equal to n is coming in the first set that is 7 is in the first set of this pair okay so we will discuss later how we are discarding this so yeah let me open this so uh, we are taking our coins from 1 to uh, n minus 1 uh, and taking 2 n minus 1 is used to discard uh, this pair of set because we are calculating our number of first set in which the total sum is equal to uh, uh, our target that is 14 and our total sum would be equal to 7 into 8 by 2 that is n into n plus 1 by 2 though so uh, sum from 1 to 7 is equal to 28 and if we want to create two sets whose sum is equal then uh, our sum of first set equal to would be equal to 14 and our sum of second set would be also equal to 14 so we are considering coins from only 1 to 6 in our first set so this would help us in discarding this uh, duplicate set of uh, this first set in which we have coin n equal to 7 in our first set so yeah so if you have not seen my videos on knapsack previous video on knapsack so i would suggest you to go and first watch that in which we are calculating our 2d matrix on the on the basis of boolean value that is true and false either we can create that sum or not uh, and this problem is the extension of previous problem in which we are calculating the number of ways we can create a sum with using these coins okay so yeah this is this question is similar like the previous one so first of all what we are doing we are taking uh, n as input then we are calculating our total sum that is n into n plus 1 by 2 and if this sum is even then only we can create our target sum uh, we then only we can create two um, sets whose sum would be equal to each other and if this this is odd then we are um, uh, printing zero and uh, if this is even then uh, our target sum would be sum by two that is 28 by 2 equal to 14 in this case so yeah uh, these things i've on, already explained uh, then after that what we are doing we are creating a vector of coins whose <coughs> name is a and we are pushing the uh, coins value from one to n minus one in this uh, vector and uh, we are creating our um, uh, 
uh, we are creating our array whose size is uh, uh, a target plus one that is 0 to 14 its size is, is equal to 14 plus 1 is equal to 15 and we are initializing this vector as uh, 0 uh, all values are 0 initially and what we are saying we can always create a sum of 0 by taking no coins so this value would be equal to 1 and and we can create a sum equal to coins value in in one way that is we can create a sum of one by taking the co where coin is equal to one so we are uh, adding one here so yeah this is the initialization of our uh, first row and uh, finally what we are saying instead of uh, creating a matrix or uh, 2d matrix we can just create a two vector of 1d uh, because we will need only the previous vector to create the current vector so uh, uh, first of all what this row says if we are at the row 3 then we are calculating our uh, sum as we are calculating our answer as taking a coin equal to 1 2 and 3 in our set and creating this sum either we can create this sum and if yes in how many way in how many ways we can create this sum okay so uh, let me first yes some of this okay so first let, let's have a look at one of the example let's say uh, we need to create a sum of six we need to create a sum of six using first four coins that is one two three and four so how this two is coming here so our first case is not taking 4 in our set that is take only coins from 1, 2, 3 and create a sum of 6. So in this case what would be our target sum? Our target sum would be equal to the uh, original target that is 6 and how many coins we have? We have coins 1, 2, 3 so we will take the value from this row with target sum 6 so this would be added in our answer that is 1 plus and in next case what we are saying take 4 in our uh, set so what would be our target uh, sum or target sum would be equal to 6 minus 4 because we have already taken a coin of value 4 so our target sum would be equal to uh, 2 and we and we need to create this target using the uh, previous coin that is first three coins so uh, we will go in this row and in this column that is target sum is equal to 2 and we will add this value uh, to our answer that is 1 plus 1 2 that's what we have uh, written here in the uh, uh, in this way we can create our whole 2d matrix and finally we need to print this answer that is uh, creating a sum of 14 by taking coins from 1 to 6 okay so as you can see this uh, we only need the uh, previous row to create our uh, current row so yeah so our first row is created here and finally we are iterating from iterating n minus uh, two times that is from one to uh, let's say this is equal to n minus two so to better understand we are iterating from one to n minus two that is uh, from one to six and we are copying our current array to our temp array that is temp would be temp would indicate the previous uh, uh, vector and uh, what we are saying our current coin is a5 that is obvious and for sum equal to 0 to target that is sum equal to 0 to 14 uh, uh, if we uh, if we leave the coin then uh, we need to add the value at the previous column that is this one in this case we have added here and if we take the coin that is the coins value is equal to sums value uh, uh, let's say uh, we need to create a sum of 3 and we have a coin of 4 so our target would be equal to if we take 
coin 4 then our target would be equal to 3 minus 4 that is equal to minus 1 so this is not possible but the sum of minus 1 is not possible and we do not have negative index also so uh, we are uh, uh, checking this in our if condition and if the coins value is less than and equal to our target sum then what we are saying take this coin in your set and add the number of ways in which you can create the sum of j minus coin uh, with, uh, by using the uh, previous uh, previous coins and finally we are taking mod to our answer that with the 10 key power 9 10 power 9 plus 7 that question says because answer could be very large and finally we are uh, printing our answer as current of current vector that is this one current vector finally would be this one and our target column that is this, this would be our answer so yeah this was for this question this was the solution for this question and from tomorrow onwards i would be starting a series a video series in which we would be uh, solving questions which are important uh, for your placement or internships and we would be solving majorly the question which are common in interview bit or uh, interview bit and lead code and some of the named algorithms and uh, question on the question on that named algorithm that are in interview bit and uh, uh, yeah some good question of lead code if you write any question in the comment section and uh, we would be posting uh, one video daily uh, in this series in the morning and in the night we would be posting uh, videos on code shape or code forces solution if there is a contest on that day otherwise we would be posting uh, a question on CSES ad coder and some uh, some other good question which are important in uh, competitive programming not in placement but that, that are related only to uh, competitive programming so yeah, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.